Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to this tutorial with the machine. This is going to be talking through the accordion or the tabs. So in order to have this, you have to be using Advanced Custom Field Pro, unfortunately. Here you can use the repeater type field. So you have to have the repeater field in order for this to work. So what a repeater field is, uh, essentially in this field type, you choose a repeater, which is an Advanced Custom Field Pro. And then here you have subfields, so you add all your different subfields. Then when you're on your edit, your your post edit page, here you can add another row, for example, and then you add name, position, score. Which in my field group I have name, position, score. So you just basically add add them over and over and over again, so it repeats. And it's a good way to, to give the user the ability to add as many as they need. Okay, so that's a repeater. Now, how do we translate that into accordion or a tab? So you can see how it works over here. So we have these accordions. I mean, ignore the, 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 be <laughs> the beauty. I haven't really made them look really nice. Or we have tabs. And you can use our settings to, to customize these, just like in Divi. Okay, so in your layout, in your theme builder layout, add a repeater module, which is our Divi machine module. It's, in case you haven't watched this, there's a video on this, but obviously it's changed now because this is an updated version. But there's two ways to do it. One is to just add your advanced custom field items, and then we repeat it in a grid format. Or you can use the Advanced Custom Field Pro. So this is where you need to select a repeater field as your first thing you need to do. Then the repeater name, which is the one that you created. So I'm just going to select repeater, which is this over here. Okay. Once I've done that, I can select my repeater field type. So what I wanted to show. So one, custom loop layout. Here I can just create a custom loop layout and then it will be repeated over and over again. I can select table and the table will then render a responsive table that needs to be basic fields only. Then I've got these two new ones we've added on machine 2.0 which is tabs and accordion. So in this option I'm going to select accordion. Then in this new tab there's tabs accordion settings. The first thing you need to set is what is the title of the accordion or tab. So you see it's got this name Frank. Over here it's got Frank. This is the title. So you need to, you need to tell Divi Machine what is going to be the title. So in the theme builder we select the title. So I'm going to go to my repeater and it's going to be the name. The name is what I want it to be. So it'll be this, this subfield. The next thing I want to do is select the loop layout. So what the loop layout is, is whatever's shown inside of the accordion or inside of the tab. I've just done it very, very simple, but you can, you can, you know, explore your options with the custom loop layout. So we select tabs loop layout, which if I go to the Divi theme builder, tabs loop layout, all I have are these two, you know, options here. I could add an image. Uh, which it's going to be the same for every single one because I'm just showing you this quickly. So let's just add this image of this Gilvia. Uh, put it above. Now you can see for each tab there'll be that image of that Gil. Okay. Uh, obviously you can use Advanced Custom Field to have a dynamic image. But you can see how the, the accordion then has all the tabs have these different content based on this loop layout which you specify in the repeater loop layout. And the same applies for tabs, exactly the same. Uh, and we also have in the design tab, we have, uh, we have different ways to, you know, edit the accordion or the tabs uh, design. So I hope this helps you with your adventures with Divi Machine. And uh, let us know how you get on. And if you have any suggestions, we're more than happy to, to receive them and uh, implement them and that's how this plugin grows. Thanks so much, have a great day.